Welcome everyone. Today we are working on my MRC Prodigy Advanced 2. I have power already to the system. The issue I had was when I started wiring this up with my Ethernet connections. One of the cables was reversed for the labeling. So when I hooked it up, it caused my whole system to glitch out, which allowed me basically not to have the link light work anymore. I have power. I have everything else work. It does supply power to the track, but it does not give me the link. So I'm going to fix it. As you can see, I'm using screwdrivers, a magnifying lens. Um, I am replacing an IC chip that I have. Um, there are actually two IC chips in here that you will see. But first things first, we've got to get things broke down. So this is a correct way that it needs to be wired. All the wires, as you're facing the clip, need to be in the exact same direction. One of the wires was reversed. Um, if you've ever messed around with a computer, it's basically wired for a crossover Ethernet connection, and that's what it had done um, instead of just a standard Ethernet cable. So you've got to pry off these little um, foam uh, plastic bumpers for the feet. There are four Phillips screws underneath them, so we need to pull those out first. Alright, now that we've got all four screws taken out, the bottom cover actually comes off pretty quick and easy. The top cover is relatively smooth except for those two switches. It does get a little pushed in there, so you got to push down on those switches and it comes right off. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of transistors, diodes, ICs, everything else in there, uh, capacitors. You'll want to double check your capacitors, make sure they're not bulged, make sure that all the ICs and everything's good. That bottom chip that I just pointed at is the chip that is bad. The longer one that is above it, as you can see, is actually a programmed chip. Um, that is programmed by MRC, so you cannot just buy that chip. I did buy that long chip thinking that was going to work. It did not, but I bought also bought the lower smaller ones um, you can get them through DigiKey uh, I ended up getting these off of eBay I will list the model number or the part number down in the description for that but this actually controls the link so my guess is is it actually burned out that chip by having it wired in reverse so it was a simple fix, uh, cost me all a whole whopping $4 and that included shipping. It was not that expensive. Another thing you want to do is on the bottom side are all the solder joints. Check those solder joints, make sure that you do not have any cold solder joints. If there are any, just touch them up real quick. As you're putting this thing back together, double check those switches to make sure that it does not get snagged on that. cover on, double check around the waist, make sure that everything is nice and tight back together. And then it's a simple matter of putting your four screws back in. So as I said, I tried the longer IC um, chip and 
Of course, it's a programmable chip. Now, when I put in the blank chip, it wouldn't even power on the system. So that IC chip also runs part of the programming of the power. So if you are not even getting power to your system, you've probably either got a short from a cold solder, one of the, either that IC is shot, or there's a good chance that the capacitors one of those have probably blown, which would be that large one in the back, I'm guessing. But those would be things to be checking out when you have this unit open. There's not a whole lot to this thing that runs it. All right, now that we've got those back together, we're gonna put our foam feet in, make sure that the uh, sticky side is down toward the screw. All right, we've got everything buttoned back up again. Time to plug it in and test it out. Powering it on, making sure everything's there. LED light is lit. Now it's hard to see on this little part, but as I'm pushing number two for the horn, you can see the blinking now happening. We'll zoom in on that just a little bit. There you go. Now you can really see that thing light up as I'm pushing number two. So it is now finally getting a signal like it is supposed to be. So now that that's done, we've got our MRC Prodigy finally fixed doing a couple other tests just on some other buttons just to make sure it works good but this was a really simple fix I think it was more of the diagnosis that took a longer time than anything else but otherwise the rest of it was really really good all right I've checked over everything that's on there the rest of it's all back up and working now the link light works like it's supposed to Again, double check those connectors. Make sure that they are the exact same on both sides. As long as you got that, you're good to go. All right, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe.